It's Friday the 21st of July 2017 and I'm at Rutum, back at Rutum, to do a walk along Pilgrim's Way of course. And there is the church at Rutum. I've now joined the route of Pilgrim's Way. It follows this path up to a road. We cross the M20 motorway. Good view ahead. There you are, confirmation we're on Pilgrim's Way. Heading along the road out of Rutum that is Pilgrim's Way. Now on a path beside the road with sweeping views. The path rejoins the road which goes down into a dip and we're apparently we're entering root and water. The narrow road of Pilgrim's Way marching on. Now on the path beside the road, on the edge of this flowery field. That's looking back. Later the path goes through another kissing gate and enters woodland. The path rejoins, well it's not the road because that's Bared off to the right, but this wide gravelly track. At this fork, North Downs Way takes the left branch uphill, but Pilgrim's Way takes the right hand fork. The wide path is hedged. Later the path opens out to some sweeping views on the right. The beautiful track becomes hedged again. The wide path of Pilgrim's Way is striding on. We now turn right along this road for a short distance. A short distance on that road bends to the right and we continue along Pilgrim's Way up here. The small road that is Pilgrim's Way is beautifully wooded. Over to the right in the distance there's a view of Trotterscliff Church which mostly dates from the late 12th century. Tremendous view. Now much further along the paved road, still on Pilgrim's Way. At this point the North Downs Way has rejoined our route as well. Now on this dark path with white horse wood on the left up there. A bit difficult to see really from here. You can get more of an impression of white horse wood here. Despite those walkers ahead, this is quite a secluded walk. Still continuing beneath white horse wood. Now passing one of the concrete North Downs Way signs, the old type sign that was quite common in Kent. And at this point, that is the way ahead for both Pilgrim's Way and North Downs Way. 
the Pilgrim's Way and North Downs Way, the path is now hedged between fields. Over to the right, some views. And now views ahead and to the right over the Medway Valley. At this point the North Downs Way turns left, up there. Pilgrim's Way continues straight on, there. And here, what a fantastic view. Another great view over to the right there. And there is Pilgrim's Way continuing. We now cross Burling Hill, this road, and Pilgrim's Way continues a few yards up here. And down there. What a view opens up. And down there is Paddlesworth Farm, which contains St. Benedict's Church, another old church, closed in the late 17th century and restored in the early 20th century. And there is Pilgrim's Way continuing. Great views over the Medway Valley. Again, and there's Paddleworth, Paddlesworth Farm. Pilgrim's Way becomes much wider and descends. Now joining this road which we follow to the village of Upper Hauling. The road goes steeply uphill to Upper Hauling. At the crossroads in Upper Hauling, Pilgrim's Way turns right down here. The road bears away and we eventually join this path, now heading for Hauling Station and the end of today's walk. View over to the left, over to the M2 crossing of the River Medway. I'm on the top of a fence which is why it's mostly sky in this clip. After a wooded section, the path starts to go downhill and as you can see it opens out with this great view ahead and to the right. We come to this main road but turn left along this path beside it. We now cross the main road by this bridge. We come to this cemetery, turn right, that bridge crosses the Medway Valley Railway and we go into Hauling. Now at Hauling Station and the end of today's walk along the Pilgrim's Way.